Hello there, I'm James Phelps and I played Fred Weasley in the Harry Potter movies. And I'm Oliver Phelps who played George Weasley in the Harry Potter movies and today we're learning to code with the Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. That's well said. Boom. We're here to look around the locations what we can explore. So let's have a look. There's Hogsmeade where you've got the ever-present Honey Dukes, my favourite for a few good sweets. Hogshead, the Three Broomsticks. Stone Circle, the Owlery, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid's Hut. So you see in Diagon Alley, there's our sharp Weasley Wizardy Weezers. He's a good looking bloke on front of that. Okay, so now we're going to go through some of the challenges and have a bit of a play. So yes, come on. Ready? Let's, let's do it. What's your favourite? Quidditch. There's Quidditch, yep. Yeah. There's also the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Yes. Do you want to go? Try yes, Quidditch, Quidditch, please. Okay then. Come on, I don't want to go to the school, I want to go to Quidditch. Okay, click on that one. So we're going to learn how to summon a broom okay. using code. Cool. So in this challenge, you will use the Accio spell motion to activate code so that you can add broom to the canvas. Cool. And the canvas is on the right hand side? Canvas on the right hand side. Okay. So we'll click on events. Open the events tray. And the instructions are all at the top, which makes it a lot easier. Yep. Yeah. So we drag that there and then open the objects tray. Yes. Drag that in and click it in just like a jigsaw. Brilliant. Okay. So on the screen here, you've got canvas, which is that part there on the right hand side. Then next to it is JavaScript. Yep. And there's a lot of random words that are on there. Oh, these random words. So JavaScript is essentially the language that code uses. So, so any website will use JavaScript. So any graphics on a computer will have JavaScript in it. So a website, JavaScript. A game, JavaScript. Yep. Come on, I'm getting, no, I'm not getting into that. Right, so we're here to create a broom summon, okay? So JavaScript. At the moment, we have a now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, okay, so have you, have, you, have you finished it yet? No, so the object creates, so we want this to be a broom, so at the moment it's set on owl. Okay. So we'll scroll down to brooms, broomstick one, broomstick two. How about a Nimbus 2000? Ah, uh, good old classic, good old classic. Okay, so then now, Oliver. So I need to do the spell. Yep. Okay. So click on the button. So you hold the button and round. Hey, how many do you want? I could, I can give you a couple. Let's give a couple. There may be a deal on this week. Let's kit out the whole school. Okay, I think we've got enough brooms there, Oliver. Shall we uh, check out something else? Yes. Levitate a feather. Yes. Okay. Right, in this challenge, you will use the Wingardium Leviosa spell motion to activate the code so you can levitate the feather. Use a when app starts block to run code as soon as the app starts. Drag this block to anywhere. Use an object to create a block and add objects to the canvas. Okay. Now change owl to feather to create a feather instead of an owl. There you go, feather. Feather, brilliant. Open the events tray and drag the block to your code. Select Wingardium Leviosa, movement. First, stop the feather from falling. Open the objects tray and drag the block onto your code space. Change pin to freeze so the object stays still. Use an every one second block to run code repeatedly. Open the control tray, connect the block. Change seconds to milliseconds. Now we're getting fast. Now set the position of your falling feather Click to the block. Set the position of the feather Open the one tray and drag the block onto your coded space. Finally, rotate the feather as much as a rotation you want. Go on the end there. Open the one tray again and drag the block onto your code space. Change pitch to roll. Right, that's how you get on. Hold down the button so you're coding wand and perform Wingardium Leviosa movement. I think it only works if you say it. Or not. There we go, and now we've got a feather moving all around. I'll tell you, there's some good JavaScript going on right now. 
Oh, and we've just added a load of code, and I've created that. Brilliant. Let's let's check out another one. Right. So you've done that one. I'm going to have a go. Honey Dukes. Summon some Bertie Bots every flavoured beans. Drop anywhere. Then drag the block onto your code space. I like it how there's a little dot which shows you what it's talking about. Yes. Change ten to five. Five. Repeat then five drag, times. Drag the block onto your code space. Change Al to Bertie Bot's Beans. Try moving your coding one now. Stop them from stacking up using Apply Force Block. Drag the Apply Force Block into the coding space. Change all to Bertie Bot's Flavoured Beans. You can use random numbers to fire them in all different directions. Drag this block into your code space. Change 10 to 360. That's a lot of beans. Change 0 to 50. Wave your coding wand upwards and summon piles of Bertie Bot's every flavoured beans. Yes, coding. I'm going to try and fill the screen. No, I, I made that. So as you can see, there are loads and loads of challenges which by step by step will teach you how to code. Amazing. So as you see here, Oliver, there are lots of different medals to be won, and you win these by completing so many challenges. So some you get five, some you get ten challenges, and you get a medal. Obviously, I will eventually have more than you. Your avatar needs some work, do it. He, uh, I think he definitely needs a makeover. So why don't you change his hairstyle, or his hat? OK, there we go. Green hat. And he's got my hair cut. That's good. Yeah, he's... But clothes-wise, let's put him in a, uh, an orange shirt. There we go, represent the Weasley element of, uh, of my persona, I think. I'm going to give him a Hufflepuff scarf, because I am actually a Hufflepuff. There's always one. There's always one. And creatures, let's put the Hungarian horntail egg by the side. And then a... let's get a Howler in the corner as an artefact, just to remind me of you just napping in my ear all the time. Mm, okay. Okay, so now we're... you've done stuff wrong. Now we are done. And you can also see how some of them are locked off, so you unlock those by doing so many challenges. There's a lot there. Check back in with us soon for some more creativity and coding.